What you guys got another video here for you on recovery options in Windows. Now this is Windows 11, but we're going to go through all of the recovery options that you're going to have inside Windows available to you. And there's different reasons why you'd want to use each one of these uh, recovery options. So if your PC isn't working after recently installing a Windows update, then you can use this method of recovery. You can go to Control Panel, type in Control Panel, and then click on it. And this will open up the Control Panel here. Inside here, we can go to Uninstall a Program. And up there, we can see View Installed Updates. Now, if you've just recently installed an update and it's causing you problems, you can click on it and you can uninstall it. You can tell by the date it was installed, and this makes it easy to uninstall the offending update until Microsoft fix that update. Sometimes Microsoft pull them and sometimes they don't, and you may have audio issues, uh, some sort of other issue with your computer, and you may want to uninstall it. That's basically how you can uninstall an update there. Also, by going to Settings here and Windows Updates, I want to show you this area and all because this is the uh, another uh, area you can check out. It's in Update History here. Click on this one here, and you can see all of your updates history, uninstall updates, and you can uninstall it because it takes you straight back to Control Panel. Whatever way you want to go about doing it, that's how you can remove a Windows update if it's causing you issues. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is your PC isn't working well and it's been a while since you've installed an app, a driver, or an update, and you want to resolve that problem. So let's take a look at how you can go about doing that. So hit the Start button, hit Settings here. Inside System, you want to come down and hit Recovery. Hit Recovery, and you should see Reset This PC. Click on Reset This PC, and this will give you Choose an Option, which is Keep My Files or remove everything if you choose to remove everything this removes all of your personal data files apps and settings and completely uh, reinstalls windows for you only use this method if you've got backups of all of your local data because otherwise it will be erased there's another option there which says keep my files but remove apps settings uh, but keep your personal files that is another area that you can click on this is a bit of confusion for some people when they click on this one because they get another two options which we'll show you right now i would always advise you to back up your data anyway no matter which method you use but you can see we do have cloud download and this downloads and reinstalls windows this will download all of the essential files off of microsoft's website and reinstall them onto your computer this way is the preferred way for me i prefer to use this method unfortunately if you don't have internet access or you have limited data download, then you will need to use uh, the local reinstall. Now, reinstalling Windows from this device uses your PC files to reinstall Windows. Now, the problem with this is if you've got an issue with your operating system or some sort of corruption with your operating system and you need to uh, fix it, then I don't think using the local reinstall is a good option. You're best to use the cloud method, but you will need to still have uh, an internet connection to be able to use the cloud uh, method for downloading fresh files from Microsoft. So that is the method there. Now you will need to also have space available because obviously it's going to use uh, four gig of space. Also local install does take a lot longer to reinstall the operating system, whereas cloud download does, does it pretty quickly. And you can see here what it's going to do to the system. It's giving you all the information on the screen right here. You can then click on reset and it will start to reset your PC back. Now, sometimes that doesn't always fix it. And I'll show you some other things you can try. So your PC won't start or it's still loading. So basically you get that loading screen when you're booting up the Windows thing going round and you can't uh, boot into Windows. So you want to hold the left shift key down and then restart your PC. Continue to hold the left shift key down during the restart process and do not let your finger off that left shift key until you see a blue screen looking something like this in a second once it gets to there. I'll just let me uh, wait for this to do its thing. There we go. And we have choose an option. You can continue to Windows 11 or you can hit the troubleshoot. We want to go down to troubleshoot here and you can see we do have reset this PC here as well. And we also have advanced options. Let's go into advanced options. And as you can see, we do have startup repair. This is what you want to run if you're having an issue on startup. This will try to fix the startup 
issue uh, and this hopefully will resolve your problem. There is some other things inside here you can do like uninstall updates. So maybe you've installed an update. You can uninstall an update by using the up uninstall update feature. This will remove that offending update uh, and then allow you to boot back into Windows. You also have other things on here like system restore as long as you've got that set up. And we also have uh, other things like command prompt and things like that as well. And recovery image, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. So you have to have system restore enabled to do that. We do have command prompt, which will give us more access to more tools. So performing an in-place upgrade is another way you can go about resolving uh, PC problems with your computer without fully reinstalling Windows from afresh. So let's have a look here. Go to the download page on Microsoft's website and download the uh, Windows 11 disk image, which is your ISO, or you can download the Windows 10 one, depending on what version of Windows you are using. You can use these same methods on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Before you start, read all the information here. It's useful for you. Just take your time and have a good read about that stuff. Then hit the download button, and then you can select your language, which you want to use. And uh, basically, I'm going to choose English here. Click Confirm, and then we can continue with the download process here. Download Windows 11 English, 64-bit. I'm going to download this and then we can mount this to our computer. So let me show you what that looks like once we get this to the desktop. So I'm going to let this download and continue on with the in-place upgrade. Okay, so that is now downloaded. So let me go back to my downloads folder here where we downloaded that ISO. I'm going to go to downloads here and we can see that ISO image here. I'm going to right click on here and mount it. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to mount this on our system. And you should see a setup file inside here. We're going to double click on this one here. Say yes to the user account control here. And then we will wait for our preparing to install Windows. Window pops up. There we go. And you can see here, install Windows 11. So you can change how you want to set up your downloads for your updates. Click next once you're happy with all this and move on to the next window. This will check for updates. This does take a bit of time. So be patient if you had the check mark in to check updates during the installation process. We're starting Windows setup and it's going to get some un updates ready for us. And this will open up another window saying check in your PC. Let that go through and do its checks that it needs to do. And it's going to basically give you and accept their terms conditions. And then it will get some updates here. You can check for these and I'll skip this part here and move on to the next step. And you should see ready to install Windows. Install Windows uh, 11 Pro. Keep your personal files and apps. Keep personal files only. And you can keep nothing. And basically, it will reinstall everything. This means that all your data will be uh, lost on the computer if you choose nothing. Now, what I would advise you to do here is always back up your data. Never rely on Microsoft to keep your data safe because if it's gone, it'll be gone forever and you'll, use, you'll have to use data recovery software to recover your data. Okay, so let's take a look at you want to reinstall your previous operating system. Now, this one is a tricky one. You can either do it at two methods. The first method is rolling back, what we call rolling back. There is a short period of time that Microsoft allow you to roll back your computer. Generally, that is 10 days. You can extend that to 30 days. But after that, you will not be able to roll back. You have to do a fresh install after that. But if you go to your settings, system, and recovery, you should see go back. If it's grayed out like this, you've missed the deadline and now you cannot roll back. You will have to do a fresh install to go back to that operating system. You'd need to download the previous version of your operating system, which would be Windows 10, and then install that back onto your computer. If you want to stay with Windows 11, by all means you can do, but that using that go back method will only last 10 days. By default, you can extend it to 30 days. But after that, it's a fresh install. So let's take a look at your PC won't start and you haven't created a recovery drive and you've tried resetting this PC. You need to go to the Windows download page. This will be either Windows download for Windows 10 or Windows 11 download. And you can download the media creation tool to create your Windows 11 installation media or Windows 10 installation media. It will look like this. It's pretty much the same as Windows 10 as it is Windows 11. You need to have a USB flash drive, eight gigabytes or larger. You can plug that into the computer and basically follow the on-screen display here, like I'm showing you here. 
All the data will be erased on that USB flash drive to install Windows 11 or Windows 10 onto it. You can say use the recommended options for this PC if you are installing it on that PC and you should see use USB flash drive. You can see here you need at least eight gigabytes in size. Once you've done that, click next and let it create that bootable USB flash drive. And then you can boot to that USB flash drive. You will need to change the boot order inside the BIOS. Yours will look different to this, but choose to boot to USB flash drive and then click on enter to start the boot up process to boot to that USB flash drive. It takes a bit of time, but you will then see a splash screen come up saying install Windows 11, or you can do repair this PC. I'll show you both of these so you can see them. It will look like this here. And then basically you would then choose your language, click next. And then once you click next, you can click on install Windows now. This is going to do a complete fresh install of Windows 10 or Windows 11. All your data will be erased. So you need to back up your data before you perform this procedure. So you can choose what operating system you want here, whether it be pro, whether it be home, education, whatever it is, then click next. And then once we get to the next screen, you can see we need to accept their terms and conditions. Click next and you'll see two options. Custom install Windows only. This is to do a fresh install and upgrade install Windows and keep your files set into an applications. A bit like what we did when we was inside Windows would be the top method. The bottom method, which is custom install Windows only, will be a fresh install. Once we click on this, we're going to be able to see how drives. Now, if you've got more than one drive plugged in, then you have to be careful because you don't want to be erasing those drives. But let's just assume you've got one drive in here, only one drive on your computer. You can delete all these partitions and then click next and install Windows. If you've got multiple drives in your computer, be careful on which ones you delete. Otherwise, you can end up erasing all that data. Now, the other option was repair your computer. There was this option down on the bottom left hand corner. You can click on this one as well, and this will take you to the repair your PC options, which is that choose an option here. We got troubleshoot and this is booting from your USB flash drive with windows on it. And you can click troubleshoot here. We've got startup repair. We've got command prompt, uninstall updates. We've got a uh, system restore and we also have system image recovery there as well, which we'll cover in a second. But whatever way you want to go about doing this, these are other repair options that you have available booting from a bootable media, which is your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB flash drive. And you can use uh, that method there. So let's talk about if your PC isn't working well after you recently installed an application. You would need to have System Restore enabled for this to work, but you could use System Restore to quickly uh, roll back. And this is a really useful feature if you've just installed an application or you've just installed, say, for instance, a driver and it's corrupted your system. So you can type in here, uh, create a restore point in the search, and this will open up the system properties window, which if you've got it enabled, it should say protection on. And this means you do have system restore points. You can click on system restore here and it will open up a window to tell you what system restore points you have available to roll back to. And you can create these little restore points to try to roll back if you've got issues. But there's limits to what this tool can actually do. And it's only good for small things like, for instance, installing an app and rolling back or a driver or something along those lines. If you've got malware and things like that, it's not really advisable to use System Restore to get you out of trouble there. But really, it's limited to uh, you know certain things, which is like apps and drivers. Let's take a look at your PC won't start and you've created a recovery drive. Now you can use this recovery drive if you've had issues with your computer and it's not booting and you've got a recovery drive set up by using the recovery media creator just like this. This will back up your system files and then recover your PC back to the time when you created that recovery drive. And I'll just quickly show you here. This is basically using the built in recovery drive option. You can recover to a external drive or whatever size of drive it is that's capable of sustaining your recovery image. Basically, that's what it works like. Now, you can either boot up to recovery media or you can boot up to a Windows uh, disk or you can access it via the uh, hold the shift key down and get into choose an option and then choose troubleshoot and choose a recovery image from there. So once you're here at choose an option, you can see here 
you can hit troubleshoot and then click on this go to advanced options here and you won't see it on here there'll be an area called uh, show more recovery options and down here there'll be a system recovery image and you can click on this one and of course I haven't got one available but if you have a system image you can choose where that system image is and it will use it to restore your PC back so this is the recovery image option here so let me just quickly um, close this off you can see it's asking for DVD there as well if you want to use that option but you can see select a system image and you'll be able to select a system image or you can use a recovery media disc or something along those lines but basically that's it there we don't have one but that is using the recovery image to recover your PC now you've also got backup images and stuff like that which you can use to restore Windows if you've got a backup image created with the, the Windows backup you can do that as well but other than that that's pretty much it that is all of the recovery options inside windows my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video helps you out in some way big shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group your names are rolling up on the screen have a lovely weekend bye for now